good deal. When uh, St. Thomas comes out, she gets a steal right away. She scores your first couple points. Um, you know it's going to be a good day for her. Well, I thought, so she didn't particularly shoot the ball well from the three, but they were really good looks. But she did so many valuable things. So she locked whoever she was guarding on defense. She had some great steals, some incredible blocks. And, the, and took really good shots so I, and made some big shots. I didn't even, in the game, it didn't feel like she was 3 for 12. And she won't usually go 3 for 12, but she just helped us win. I mean, she had some really big plays. Yes, um, and in the third and fourth quarter, she came up big. Um, Talking about her de uh, what was her defense like with all the blocks and steals? I think there were six steals. Yeah, I mean, so she had, yeah, she had six steals, zero turnovers. So that's a stat I really like because if you had six steals and three turnovers, that's only three. Um, really, I mean, it's a great stat line. So six steals, zero turnovers, three assists, six rebounds. I mean, that's a really good stat line and incredible defense. I mean, she wasn't getting beat. She contested every shot. 33 had hit a really hard shot, you know, over her, but. I mean, she made some big plays. That long um, end of the game pass, she intercepts. Um, some really big plays on the press. Uh, I mean, I think she played a phenomenal game. Without her playing like that, we don't win this game. Did the atmosphere tonight even exceed your expectations? It did. It did. I, I mean, I love Tucson. I love the fans here. I always say um, there's a reason why I chose this place twice, and you saw the reason tonight. I love that. That's how I anticipate, anticipated the, um, the crowd that we could get. Once we start winning, I didn't know we were going to get it my third year, and I'm happy. So now I'm going to get greedy. So now the challenge, and you guys got to help me on this, the challenge is 7,000. I think we can do it. I mean, l the crowd, it, it ignited us. It, um, when we were flat and the basketball was getting a little bit ugly and we were letting them hit shots um, in the third quarter, the crowd got crazy, started chanting Arizona, and it makes us make plays. You feed off of it as a player, and Aries is one of those players. She likes that and Titi, um, so I think the crowd made a difference and helped us win this game. So it was awesome, I, I was happy. They even let the crowd in early. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's, um, it's amazing to walk out there and see the whole lower bowl full. Um, I think it's one of the best, I think it's better than most, some tournament, team are get, ter some tournament teams are getting right now. So I, I'm excited, I love it. Talk about the balance scoring in tonight's game. So um, I think one of the things that we're, we're seeing with our basketball team is that it's not only one person. We don't have to rely on Ari scoring 40 points. I mean, Ari played a good game. Did she shoot it particularly well? Not really, but she had some great defense. Um, she set up her teammates. I mean, when I can look at a stat line, we win a game, and Ari has 18 points. You know, she has um, 11 assists. That's a double-double. So even when you're not scoring as a good player, you find a way. So she at least 22 to 33 points she assisted on. So um, that's a really good stat. And I think that she played great defense. She had great steals. I mean, she got knocked out, and she comes back. Um, not literally knocked out, but she got, she got flattened. Like, she got hit really hard. I mean, bloody teeth all over. That's why I tell her to wear a mouthpiece. But um, that's beside the, the point. But she comes out. She's tough. She's got grit, passion. Like, you can't hold a player like that down. And we always talk about being the, the alpha and the, the um, tough player. And that's what she exemplifies in every way. Tough about that zone in the third quarter, and then kind of you found it there right at the end. Uh, well, uh, we didn't shoot the ball well, so I think we're going to see a lot more zone. But the amazing thing is, I don't think they played one possession a man. And it was a smart game plan because I think they said, okay, we, we're not going to guard you five on five. We can't guard you in transition because they were going back to zone on missed shots, which is really hard to do. And we weren't able to get, get going in transition. So I thought that was an effective game plan by them, and they're really hard to guard. It probably doesn't look like it, but they're extremely hard to guard. They have some really good quick hitters. You know, our guards are running by screens, three screens, four screens, a screen, screen back against shooters, and we're guarding them way beyond the three-point line. We usually don't typically guard guards out there. We would go, th we would go under. So we're chasing them all over. Um, we had to make some adjustments in the first half because our post players are low and our guards are running back and forth, and our post players aren't helping on the top of the screens. So we made that adjustment, but um, you know they're a really good team. They're coached well. They shoot the ball really well. Um, I challenged our team to to hold their top two, number 21 and 14. You know they score 41 points a game, and I thought we did a really good job. They had 30 points, so we reached our goal for what they can score, and I'm proud of our team because that was a team effort. They're hard to guard. What about the other day you, the other day you were concerned about possibly having to play at Wyoming? Now you get to play even here. Yes, which um, is much better. I like that much better <laughs> uh, for a couple reasons. It's a hard trip. It was going to be a, it, I don't talk to the team about what's ahead, 
but it was going to be leave tomorrow, the play on Saturday, so that quick turnaround, and you have to go to Denver and bus. And that's a really hard place to play. So I like this hard place to play, and I like it with our crowd. So, um, so and if we have 7,000 people here, it's, this is a hard place to play. The attendance at turn it to your favor? Or? No, so actually um, it's a couple things. The attendance is one of the factors because it's a combination of a few things, but our administration is, really supports this program in every way, and um, Dave made an offer that they couldn't re refuse or so resist, so I like that. An offer you can't say no to, so I'll take that. Can you tell us what that is? I don't know. <laughs> it's, but it's, if it's something you can't refuse, it's a lot of money. So, but that shows that they, they're supporting and they believe in us and what we're doing, and they're putting money into it, so they're investing in us, and I think that's a big thing. And now the city is, so it's just great momentum, and I want us to feed off of that. Can you talk a little bit about that third quarter run that they went on and yeah. how you guys retaliated that? Um, it's just we were given shots. We weren't communicating on switches. Um, I just thought we weren't rotating and help, and those are things that we do, but the problem is they have really good shooters, so you're reluctant to help because you're afraid, but we, that's not what we do. So we talked about that, and after timeout, we went on a run, which is big. Um, but we just have to be able to guard people. Do you think that with each game that you play, um, the teams, get, the girls are getting hungrier, that they want it more? It seemed tonight, they, they always it. want it, but it seems like maybe it was a little bit more tonight. Yeah, so a couple of things. Um, the first thing is, remember I said early in the season we didn't know how to win, because we didn't. And then, like, we had a taste of that in a non-conference. We were learning how to win, and now we're, we're learning how to win, and we like it. <laughs> I mean, we had – the Pac-12 was tough. I mean, we, we were playing good basketball, and we lost some games, and that's tough. So I think now it's kind of like, oh, we know we can win it. We're in this to win it all, and it's that, their mentality. Um, one of the things I challenged our team at halftime was we are not a great third-quarter team. And they're, they're a really good third quarter team. That's their best quarter. Ours, first and fourth, is our best throughout the season. So I challenged them in the third quarter. Um, so we barely won it, but at least we won it because our third quarter has been kind of our nemesis all year. But challenged them. I thought they played really good, intense, intense defense. Um, in the past, our third quarter has just been like come out really soft. She had a really good game uh, with just one rebound. You want to talk about that? Yeah, she um, she did have a really good game. I felt like she had more rebounds in the first half. I think not as a unit we weren't um, boxing out well, um, but I thought Kate. You know, she's six for eight. She missed another layup. She, I mean, to miss two shots from the field with pretty physical defense. I think that's really good. I mean, six for eight, two for three from free throws, fourteen points. It's a, it's a good game. And she had she had. Two turnovers, two assists. I, I think Kate played really well. And that's against a zone with a, with a lot of congestion in the paint. And I thought Dominique, Dominique, if you look at the stat, stat line, she had three points, but she had a couple, she had a, a couple big baskets, good passes. Um, she makes the right decision. I, I think she does some good things on the floor. Would you say, is it your plan to give her like an extended rest all at once, like no. tonight? No, I th it's not the plan, but sometimes, um, you know, Dominique and Destiny, just a little bit more experience. So sometimes they're in, they're in the right spots a little bit more. And Kate's a freshman, so um, being at the level of the screen, plugging on the on the on balls a little bit better, those kind of little things um, down the stretch against a pretty good guards, or emergency switching at the right time, like kind of those things, Kate will sometimes get lost. But I think that's just normal freshman stuff. And I expect Dominique to be a little bit better at those things because she has more experience. But I mean, just look at Kate from the beginning of the year to the end. And Kate's had a really incredible postseason. Um, and I thought Kate played a really good game tonight. Yeah, we've seen Ari before get a defensive rebound and push it all the way to get a bucket at mm -hmm. the other end. How much of that is you saying, look, I mean, is there a point where you want her to pull it out and look for offense? Or is there a uh, so, her about just like go? If you yeah, say, go. so I talked to her and Lucia. They're the floor generals on the floor. So my trust in them is when they feel like we have an advantageous situation, they feel like we have a a quick, um, you know, a three on two, a four on two, they can make the decision to go with it. I may call, I may kind of see them have a little bit of advantage, I'll call a certain, like a certain um, transition set we have. But I let them go in our primary, if they can score with numbers at any time in the first eight seconds, I'm fine with that. Because I think Aerie is really effective at going downhill. But the, what I don't want is, we don't score in the first eight seconds and we take a quick shot against a team like that. So I always say if we don't score in our primary or off of one action, then we need to run a play. So I let them kind of have the freedom in that. Um, but 
because Aerie is just so good in transition and she does a great job of finding people. But the goal is to not like, I don't want us to run down and just jack up a shot after 10 seconds and it's not a good shot because then no one's ready, then we're not organized on defense. But Aerie, that's why I thought that we could have done a little bit better in transition. I mean, we had 11 points. I, I felt like it was just hard because going against the zone, um, I felt like we could have had more, but I, I have to watch the film. Good time for that because you were struggling, shooting the ball, just to go around. And well, that's the, that's the plan, but it wasn't working out like that. Yeah. <laughs> the plan was that. And I think a couple times I was like, why aren't we running? Well, I think they were a little tired. So I'm just glad we're not playing on Saturday. I'm glad we have another day. All those, that's important because I played seven people. Um, and just in, you know, I wanted to play Samaj. It's just the type of game, the versatile post, it's just a tough game. So our rotations weren't as deep as I, as I want them to be. What do you know about this Cowboy team coming? Not a lot. Um, we have we've started to watch some film, but I know that they're you know they're a good team, good shooting team. I know they're really hard to play at home. Um, you know they, it's a totally different clashing style. So we're going to be faster up pace. They're going to be a little bit more monotonous, and sometimes those teams are really hard to to play against um, because you tend to get lost or you tend to relax and you get back cut or you get an open three. Um, so we just have to be focused, and that's why because of these fast turnarounds we're not able to prep for four days. So we kind of stick to our principles and we do what we do and we make people adjust to us versus having to do 10 different things. Like for us at this point in the year, that's not gonna work. So um, it's on to work tonight. So celebrate this for like five minutes and then on to the next one. I'm curious if you could take a step back a little wider worldview, I guess, how does a game, <coughs> a night like this and this whole tournament process kind of factor into that rebuilding process, the building process, the evolution of a program? It, it factors in tremendously. I'm, I'm happy. Um, I'm excited that our team is playing good basketball. I'm excited that we're fun to watch. I'm um, happy and, and grateful for all the fans. I'm grateful for all the support of the city. I mean, when I'm driving down the street and I see billboards and I see, um, you know, a ja in front of Jack in a Box, which our girls don't eat Jack in a Box a lot. They do sometimes. Um, no, but I see like all the fast food places. Um, no, but I appreciate that. I see a sign that says, you know, go Wildcats, you know, the WNIT. I think that's amazing. And I think that's what one of the special things about Tucson is this is everything is about U of A. So for a women's basketball program, that's important because it's all about us. It's not about the WNBA. It's not about the NBA. It's not about MLB. It's about this school and what's going on. And right now, we're the thing that's going on. So I love that. And I think that's exciting. And um, the, the rewarding part about that is we had 6,300 people. I, I think that was the final count, 6,300. So that's telling me people want to come out and support and they're, and they're happy and they're buying in. And as the process of rebuilding, that's what it's about. So we have potential if you win to draw like this. And I think that means a lot because it kind of tells us where we're at in this program and how the city feels. Because if there was only 1,000 people out here, they don't really care right now, right? So. I'm excited. Um, I want us to just keep on winning, and I want to. I want to get seven thousand. I'm not gonna say ten yet because I'm getting greedy, but I think I think we're capable of getting seven thousand. I think this atmosphere was awesome tonight. I think people had fun. I saw our student section full, and I just wanted everybody worked hard. Our whole staff, our um, you know Adam and Austin, everybody putting stuff out there. And I think once they come, they want to come back. And I think um, it's just incredible to get a win with this kind of atmosphere. So I'm happy. Athletes from other U of A sports were in attendance as well. They were, see, and I, yeah, I didn't even notice that, but yeah, that's great. I think we, you know, we, and, and I encourage us to do the same thing. If, if this right now was a run for softball or gymnastics, we're going to support that. Like our staff's going to be there. We do that, and that's what we do in Arizona. It's family. It's um, one of the things that I love about this place, and one of the reasons why I chose it the second time was because of these things. I mean, you have the president coming here. Um, you know, you have Dave Hickey coming to all of our games. You have all the administrators. They support us, and that's meaningful for uh, especially women's sports because that's not how it is a lot in a lot of programs. It just really isn't. That's the reality. Um, usually it's all about football and men's basketball. So if we can do these things, and the bottom line is you win, more people come. That's the reality. We all know that. But right now we're winning and doing it. So I, I, I love the fact people are coming. So I'm thankful very much so. What was it like seeing Coach Miller in attendance tonight? Great. Um, I'm, it's awesome. But he's always been wonderful to me. Um, ever since the day I stepped foot on this, camp, on this campus again, he um, has been supportive and a fan. And anything I need, um, men's basketball and him and his program always are willing to help. So 
Like it's a, he's a friend and he's down the hall and that's an also meaningful relationship for me. Um, because I think that in a lot of programs it's not like that. There isn't a relationship because just think about when it's basketball, usually if you don't have a relationship because you're, you're talking about practice time or you're over, you know, or one's going over in practice, one's going, and we don't have that relationship. If he needed the gym extra or I needed it, it's not an issue. And I, that's an important relationship that not a lot of programs have. And we have that here. And, um, you know, and I have Sean buying tickets and Kevin Sumlin, Coach Candrea, Dave Rubio, it means a lot. Um, and I already got President Robbins and Dave Peaky to buy more tickets. <laughs> I'm going to break their bank a little bit. Um, so it's just, it just means that you support us, and that's, what I, that's all I can ask for. Yeah, at, the end, yeah, at the end of the third quarter, um, Sam gets that inbounds. She throws it up, and Aaron gets the put mm -hmm. back. Um, how big of a momentum Huge. was that? The, a huge. She made some big plays like that. That's why I look back at the rooftop. I don't care. She made plays to help us win this game. And she made, I can think of four or five off the top of my head. There's probably eight if I watch film. But um, plays that got, gave us momentum. It's, and when you're going down and giving up threes, I mean, they, sometimes they hit some shots like, oh, I, I'm sure you guys like how they hit that because I was saying that. Um, and then you go and make a big defensive play. Those are momentum shifters. And then he called timeout. We had them on their heels. And so those are things to help you win the game. Um, big plays. She made she made big plays tonight. Titi made big plays. Ari made big plays. Ari came back in bloody mouth. I love that's what I love about her. She didn't care. She was like coaching back in. I was like no wait a second. <laughs> I had to give her a second because like get her checked out. But um, that's who she is, and that's why she's the player she is. Any other questions? I hope to see all of you guys on Sunday. Bring something for Sam Larry. Smile, Larry. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, how are you able to get up? After you take a collision, you're always able to get, get up. Like, how do you do that? It's uh, bigger than me, honestly. It's about my teammates and obviously winning. So I just have to suck it up and go back in and finish the game. How much did that hurt? <laughs> it hurt a lot, honestly. I thought she knocked my teeth out. But luckily, it was just a... Swollen lip, she just cut me in the inside, so I'm fine. So could have been worse. Start running out there? Probably not. <laughs> <but> <laughs> has, that, has that been an ongoing conversation with you and Coach about the mouth guard? She seems no, but she just said something after I just busted my lip. But I'm not gonna wear it. I, the breathing just. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on tonight? The game, the crowd, the whole thing, I guess. We want to thank the fans. I think that was the most ever. We really appreciate the support, and that was big. We heard them rallying behind us, especially in tough stretches. So we really needed that boost of confidence. And then just we played really good. Uh, we had a kind of stagnant third quarter, but we picked it up and finished the game off well. Yeah, um, <laughs> not a lot, so it was different for us. They came out in zone, and I wasn't expecting that. But, I mean, we just came in. We practiced zone and practiced, so, like, we know what we were doing. We just carried it over to the game, so played the whole 40 minutes in zone. <laughs> that was impressive, though. We didn't think they were uh, going to go zone like that the whole game, but mm -hmm. kudos to them. They kind of shut us down a bit, but <laughs> we got through it. Yes. How does it feel, Larry, to have four people in double figures? Oh, that's amazing. We can keep doing that, man. We are winning this thing, so <laughs> <laughs> need my teammates to keep it up. <laughs> oh God, I don't. No, I have not. <laughs> I was tired. I'll tell you that I was very tired. <laughs> but I was just trying to do what I needed to do for my team. I knew they're three-point shooters, so I was just trying to be everywhere to stop them from penetrating and kicking out. So I just, just got that. <laughs> Came out on fire tonight. You got a quick first steal. You got the first basket. Um, it seems like for you and your teammates, mm -hmm. it was a little more on the line this game. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I mean, it's postseason play. We're cutting down to the it was a Sweet 16 or whatever I think it was, and so we knew there's only a couple teams left. We had to go in and fight as hard as we can. So we all came out and did the best that we could do for tonight. You had a play late in the third where you made a rebound, a defensive rebound, and just took it all the way for a layup. And it, did you feel in that moment that because you guys were struggling, shooting the ball from outside, that you needed to get that easy bucket to kind of maybe ignite the offense? Definitely. Idaho was cutting the lead down to single digits, and I knew that they were always going to get back in zone. But I know if that if I pushed the ball, it would be hard for them to set up, and their backs were turned. So I took the best shot. What did you 
you on that play at the end? Did you punch that ball up into the air? <laughs> I like tipped it. I like tipped it barely, and it went in. I was like, because I was still frustrated from the previous call. I got a charge, and I was like, and I just tipped it, and it went in. I was like, oh, snap, and one, or finish. <laughs> <laughs> so we needed that little spark. Yeah. Has something like that ever happened to you before? Where you just kind of like volleyball? Like, no, you know, but that or... was so nonchalant. I don't know how I made that, honestly, but I'm glad it went in. Was it the basketball gods repaying you or something? I think so, yeah. <laughs> you going to go buy a lottery ticket now? <laughs> I'm not of age and I can't do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, you played in the NCAA tournament as a freshman. How does this compare to that? I would definitely say it's very competitive. NCAA and the... Uh, WNIT. Uh, a lot of teams have everything on the line. They don't want their season to end, so everyone is just playing hard on both ends of the floor. And so, next year when we prepare for NCAA, we'll know what to do. We'll have that experience. So we're just taking this in strides and learning as we go. At the end of the third quarter at the buzzer, you guys had a special play there. Um, did that really just again take it up a notch for you guys and and help you get through the fourth quarter? Definitely. It started with Sam with the steal with some sec like two, three seconds left. <laughs> and then it started with the tip in. So we knew at that point, like, we need to pick it up. Like, we don't want to go home. We don't want to stay here and just not do nothing. We wanted to keep advancing and keep winning. So we just had to pick up our game and close out the game. Sam, do you want to say that that was a pass at the end of the? Yeah, um, I knew there was three seconds left, but I thought I tipped the ball and the time was running out. I would have never would have shot that if I knew I had two seconds, but I thought it was like one second, so I just threw it up there. And I saw Ari down there, and I was like, yeah. she, she told me at halftime, like, throw me an oop, throw me an oop. And so I was like, okay. And then I just. I hear him, man. <laughs> so you want an assist for that one? Yeah, yeah, I would like an assist. <laughs> Sam, talk to us about the whole experience. This is your first postseason here. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. We're drawing a great crowd. Everyone's like stepping their game up. We're all growing. You look back at the season of all the growth that we made from where we were and here we are now. Everyone's like taking care of their bodies. Like that's so much important. It's great that everyone's able to do that. And so we're just hoping to keep going and continue this journey. How important is a night like tonight for the evolution of this program in general? I mean, obviously first playoff run or postseason birth in eight years. What's a night like tonight in the last couple of postseason games meant to this program, in your opinion? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, this is why we came here. We knew Coach Barnes was a new coach. She sold. She wanted to build a new program. So it's great to see that we're actually starting that and we're making history here at Arizona. Any other questions? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.